guys, I started writing all these other books, because after you get published, then it's like it opens up this whole new world. And you're like, wow, I got one book published, maybe I can get some other books published. So I started actually writing some supernatural books, because I do like, you know, paranormal things, as well as princesses. Um, and one of the series of books I write is called The Mediator, and it's about a girl who can see and speak to ghosts. Um, she mediates between the living and the dead. Her name is Susanna. And there's um, six books in that series. So that actually came about because I, after my dad died, I kept thinking that I saw him everywhere. Um, and I said to my brother, wouldn't it be weird, you know, if you could see all the dead people, not just, you know, your dead dad? And he was like, oh, please don't write a book about this. And so I wrote six. <laughs> this is what happened. And I also write a, a book series called the 1-800-Where-Are-You series, which is about a girl who um, gets struck by lightning, and she has the supernatural power to um, find missing people. So that's, um, it's got a main character named Jeff. And there are five of those books, so you might be able to find those, too. Um, I've written a whole bunch of other books, too. I just don't have time to talk about all of them, but you can see some of them up there. There's a book about a teen witch named Jinx, um, a King Arthur book, a modern retelling of it called Avalon High, and here are some of the other ones. I also write books for adults. Um, there's a mystery series about um, a chubby girl who um, is actually based on me, and I worked for... 10 years in a residence hall at New York University in a dormitory while I was trying to get published. Fantastic. It was really a great job. Um, there were no murders there while I was there, but in my books, the girl solves crimes. Um, I also write some books about a girl who saved the president from being assassinated. That happened to me. Um, not really. Um, Samantha Madison, she has a book called All American Girl and a book called Ready or Not. Um, right now, people are always like, is there going to be a movie of that? And there actually is a lot of talk about that being made into a movie, so, but we're not really supposed to talk about it. And I can't tell you who they've got um, slated to star in it, but it is a young actress. I can't tell you who. It's not Raven Tomorrow. It was, but now it's not. And there's the Princess Diaries series. So as you can see, there's a ton of books in that series. They are ten in all. The tenth one's coming out this Christmas. Um, number nine is out right now. Um, the tenth one is supposed to be the last one. Um, right now, the last one. It's really hard to give up on this series because I love writing it so much, as you know, because it was very cathartic to write about my mom and, and my teacher. Um, it may, it, I may keep going, but I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe if you guys still, still want to read my will, I don't know. Um, what can I tell you about what's going to happen? I'll read you what it says on the back. This is your one and only chance to find out how it all ends. Hang on. One moment, please. Okay. <laughs> Including the answers to hotter than hot questions like, is the practically perfect JP the real love of Mia's life? Has Michael Moskowitz fallen for a brain box Japanese beauty? And is Mia really the last, oh my gosh, unicorn at Albert Einstein High? There's only one way to find out. Okay, there you go. And then there's a little thing here. Did you know that there are unicorns in New York? You have so got to read this book. That's a little inside joke that you'll find out when you read the book. So that's the info on um, Princess Diaries 10. And as you know, there were two movies based on that. We can talk about those later. And that my new series is called Alan Eagle's Rules for Girls. Um, it's for kind of a little bit younger readers because I had so many young readers who were reading the Princess Diaries series. And maybe was, there were things that were a little bit too much about French kissing in that um, for them. And so we decided to go a little bit younger. And this is about a girl who's nine. And she's just trying to figure out what's, what's going on in the world. Um, and she makes some rules to help herself so that she can really uh, figure out how, how to navigate fourth grade. You know, she makes up rules about her friends and rules about her cat and all sorts of things. That's a kind of fun new book. There's a copy right here of the newest one, The New Girl. She's the new girl in her school. And um, another girl in the class actually wants to beat her up. I had a girl in my school in fourth grade who wanted to beat me up. There's not enough books out there about girls who want to beat other girls up. <laughs> it was horrible. She never actually did beat me up, but she used to tell me every day she was going to beat me up, which was worse. I had to learn how to fight just in case she did beat me up. And then the next year, she was like my best friend. What was up with that? Horrible. Airhead is 
my newest book. And it's a new series, actually. And this one is really creepy and weird. And yet it's got high fashion in it, which is kind of what makes it creepy and weird. Um, it's about a girl who's just a totally normal teenage girl living in Manhattan. She's probably a lot like you, only in Manhattan. And um, she is just going along, having a normal day, when a plasma screen TV falls on her. That's what happens to anyone. Um, she's in a horrible, disfiguring accident. And when she wakes up, what is happened? I was going to read to you, but I don't think we have time. It's really awesome what happens, though. She, um wakes up with somebody else. And the way that I thought of this book was that I woke up and I felt really, really gross one day. And I thought, wouldn't it be awesome if I woke up and I was Heidi Klum? Right? The model? I think it would be really cool to be her, but still be myself inside. But like, have a supermodel's life. But she's a teen supermodel. And it's not magic. There's a totally rational explanation for what happens. And it's creepy. And suddenly people are following her around. And she can't get out of it. And she can't tell anyone. And she can't tell any of her old friends that she's not really this supermodel. And she can't tell, for instance, the guy that she has a crush on, that she, you know, is really herself on the inside. And he hates this supermodel. Oh my god, it's so crazy. Um, if we have time, I'll read you a little bit from it. But I wanted to see if anybody had any questions they wanted to ask me. Although I know I've been extremely thorough in my speech, right? Hang on, let me see if there's any more of you. Oh, there's not. Okay. Um, who wants to ask me something? You can ask me whatever you want. I'm so friendly.